All right. Here's what I want to show you today. I want to show you a way to solve a problem that a lot of people face when they're making recipes. And it seems to uh, be a little confusing to some people, especially students, when I ask this on quizzes and tests. And I'm not exactly sure why, except to say that uh, it hasn't been explained, or I haven't done the explaining, uh, in a way that makes sense to most people. Now, here's the question, OK? A muffin recipe calls for 3 quarters of a cup of sugar for 3 dozen muffins. How much sugar will you use to make 8 dozen muffins? Okay, It's a classic example of I've got a recipe that gives me a certain amount of, uh, amount of food afterwards, and I don't want to make that amount of food. Okay, In this case, I want to make, instead of 3 dozen muffins, I want to make 8 dozen muffins. What I want to show you about this problem is I don't want to just give you the answer. right? I don't, I don't want to give you the answer that you can just memorize. Because anybody can memorize uh, an equation. But the problem with that is you memorize it now, and then a year or so later, you're not going to remember that, uh, that formula or whatever. I want to show you how we might think through this problem so that we can actually solve it forever, basically. Every time you come up with this problem, you can go, oh, OK, I know how to do this, because you can work your way through it. When you're doing recipes like this, so what are some common things you might want to do to a recipe? Okay, you might want to double the recipe. Okay? You might want to double it, or you might want to halve it, okay? make it half. Okay? These words double and halve actually mean something in numbers as well. If you're going to double something, what are you going to do to it? You're going to multiply all the ingredients by 2. Okay? If you're going to have a recipe, you're going to actually multiply all the ingredients by 1 half or 0.5. Okay? You're going to multiply by 1 half or you're going to multiply by 0.5 or whatever, and you're going to get that amount. Okay? But these numbers double and have come from a mathematical idea, okay, which I want to show you. So let's say you're going to double a recipe. Let's say in this case, instead of having three dozen muffins going to eight dozen, we're just going to go to six dozen. We're going to double the recipe. okay? Three dozen to six dozen. Okay? Well, what you're going to do, as we already know, is you're going to multiply by two. Where does that two actually come from if all you know is you're going from three dozen muffins to six dozen muffins? Well, it comes from saying six divided by three gives you two. In other words, six divided by three gives you two times. Okay? Let's do another example. Let's say instead of going for six dozen muffins, you're going to go for 12 dozen muffins. Okay? Well, a lot of you guys, well, actually, let's, instead of 12, let's, let's go a little bit easier. Let's say instead of three, six dozen, you're going to go to nine dozen muffins. Okay? So from three dozen to nine dozen, okay, well, you know implicitly that you're tripling the recipe, right? Triple means three times as much. Where does that three come from? Okay? Three times as much, but where did that three come from? Well, it comes from nine which is the amount you want, the nine dozen that you want, divided by three dozen, which is what the recipe tells you. And it's going to be nine divided by three means you're going to multiply by three times. Okay? Same thing if you want to multiply by four times. right? Or if you wanted to go three dozen to 12 dozen. Okay? Well, three dozen to 12 dozen is 12 divided by three equals four. You're quadrupling the recipe. And therefore, you want to multiply by four. Let's look at the example here where we have three dozen to eight dozen. It's exactly the same pattern here, right? Three dozen to eight dozen. Okay? Well, we don't know what this number is implicitly. This is not something that you, you normally don't go from three dozen to eight dozen. That, that's not an even uh, ratio in this case, right? But three dozen to eight dozen, well, if you use the same pattern, you're going to say, well, look, all right, it's going to be eight divided by three gives me some amount. Okay, If you want, you can actually do it on your calculator. You don't need to. 8 divided by 3 gives you 2.67. Okay, 2.67 times as much. Let's just leave it in fraction form for a minute. 8 thirds is the amount that you're going to multiply by the 3 quarters cups to get your final amount that you're going to put into the recipe. Okay, I'll do that right over here. Well, first of all, let's, let's just see what happens when we do that two times as much, right? So we, we start with 3 quarters cups, and we're going to, let's say we want to double it. Well, we're going to go 3 quarters times 2, right? 
gives you 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 4 is 4. So you're going to get 6 fourths, or 3 halves, because 2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into 4 2 times, which, if you did it on your calculator, gives you 1.5 cups of sugar for doubling the recipe. And it turns out, obviously, because we just did it, 3 fourths doubled is 1.5. OK, well, the same thing is true with our 8 dozen cookies, or muffins, rather. 8 thirds is what we're going to multiply by 3 fourths, OK? So we have 3 fourths cup in our first cups in our first uh, in the recipe. And then we multiply that by 8 thirds, OK? Because we're going from 3 dozen to 8 dozen, and it's this ratio of 8 divided by 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 4 is 12. Turns out you can actually reduce this as well. 24 divided by 12, well, let's see. 12 goes into 24 two times. 12 goes into 12 one time, or two cups of sugar is what you want. Okay, So that's the, the idea here. Use this pattern that you can figure out to say, oh, I get it. We're always going to do the final amount divided by the original amount times the recipe, what the recipe calls for in the number of cups of sugar or all the ingredients. right? What if we said instead of what if we said instead of doubling it, we wanted to have the recipe? Okay, we were talking about this earlier. If we want to have the recipe, we're going to multiply three fourths by one half, right? One half times three fourths, okay, gives you three divided by eight, right? Which is actually point. Let's see, three fourths, three eighths rather, three eighths is going to be 0.375, right? Or 3 eighths of a cup. You might be able to figure that. You might have that little one cup measure or something like that where you, can, where you can do that, right? Well, that's the exact same thing you might do if instead of going from three dozen muffins, you were going to go to only two dozen muffins, right? You're going to have, you don't want extra muffins sitting around. So you're going to go three dozen muffins to two dozen muffins. Well, look, it's the same idea, right? Your final amount, two divided by three, times the amount you started with, or the amount the recipe calls for, 3 fourths, gives you, let's see, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12. That gives you 1 half cup of sugar instead of the 3 fourths cup of sugar. But it's the same idea, right? You're still going to divide the final amount divided by, divide the final amount by the original amount, and you're going to end up with the ratio that you multiply by all of the ingredients in your recipe and end up with the solution. So finally, if you have something like this, and this goes for a lot of different problems, if you have a problem where you know some way to solve a different formulation of the problem, like you know how to double a recipe, figure it out, use the pattern that you can kind of come up with, and then go, and then you'll be able to go from any, you'll be able to expand on your ability to solve that problem for any inputs that you might have.